hey guys what's up and welcome once again to my channel it's Ali here with another video for you guys long time no see and apologies as I did not upload a video this past Sunday um, I really do want to apologize for that just because um, I was going through it cycle pulled up so I just had to like take a breather um, but I'm back and today I actually wanted to take it back with um, just sharing with you all like what products have my hair thriving I realize it's been quite a long long time since I've shared what products I'm currently using in my hair I've been giving you guys the wash day routines and so on and so forth but I actually haven't sat down and shared with you all what I am using and I get questions about it 24 7 what are you using in your hair what are you using in your hair what are you using in your hair so I'm going to sit down talk about it let you know every single product that has been blessing this little head of mine and yeah so without further ado if you guys want to stick around and see what products i'm using in my hair then watch to the very end of this video okay so first up as you guys already know i have struggled with seborrheic dermatitis both in the past and currently every once in a blue you know i'll get flare-ups depending on what it is that i'm using so i went ahead and i started using selsun blue in order to combat that so this is what has helped clear up my seborrheic dermatitis completely i don't get as many flare-ups as i used to in the past i would constantly get flare-ups at least uh once every four to five days and if you guys seen my As I Am Seborrheic Dermatitis video, then you know that I use the As I Am Seborrheic Dermatitis line, which did help. But once I was done with everything, it just came right back. So I had pretty much not really batted an eye towards my seborrheic dermatitis for a while. I wasn't really giving it much thought. I was kind of just letting my scalp do its own thing. But then earlier not earlier but towards the end of last year i was starting to get some flare-ups again so i went ahead and i picked this up right before i got my hair braided in november and i started using this and since then my scalp has been extremely clean i actually just washed my hair a few days ago but that is typically what i first go in with is my selsun blue and this is the one with the moisturizing with aloe for moisture and yeah the main ingredient is selenium selenium sulfide which is what helps with your seborrheic dermatitis so i would recommend this one if you're looking for something that's going to stop seborrheic dermatitis in its tracks and if you want a clear and healthy scalp and you just want your styles to last longer like i do so this is what i'm using currently so that's the first step next up i do still go in with a sulfate free shampoo right after just to give my hair some moisture because the selsun blue is very drying so i just focus that on my scalp and i use it once a week and then as soon as i'm done with that i go in with my my organics rosemary mint shampoo I've been using this for over a year now and it's the main shampoo that I always go back to. This is like my fifth or sixth bottle if I'm not mistaken. But I absolutely love this stuff. It leaves my hair super clean but also really really moisturized. And it even doubles up as like a detangler for my hair. So I can actually detangle my hair while this is still in it. But love this stuff. It's also really affordable. It leaves my hair squeaky clean. My hair grows because it is infused with biotin. But I love this stuff. I have not used anything else ever since I've picked this one up. The only other thing that I'm using obviously is Selsun Blue. But this is my baby right here. So love, love, love this stuff. I'm also going to go ahead and include my wash day routine for you guys. In case you're wondering so that you could go ahead and check it out for yourself um but yeah those are the first two products in the lineup when it comes to washing my hair when it comes to detangling now a new one that i'm using is the mish uh lavish leave-in conditioner this is really really good it has a ton of slip and i've only used it about twice because i had another leave-in conditioner that i was using i typically use the aussie moist but since then i have not been using it so i actually gravitated towards this one um as of two weeks ago and i really like it it has a ton of slip 
it makes detangling a breeze um because when it comes to detangling my hair i that's usually where i get really impatient especially if i know that i've kept the style in for over a week i tend to get a lot of matting towards the nape of my neck or even with my twist outs like right now this twist out looks absolutely amazing but give it another two to three days and that constant pineapple every night all of this back here just starts getting really matted and sometimes i can be pretty lazy and not refresh my hair as often as i used to i kind of just let it do its thing so this helps save the day um, i'm able to detangle my hair a lot faster i do use detangling tools but with this i hardly have to use it i could go in with my fingers and this is infused with aloe vera and avocado oil so really really like this stuff my only complaint is that this uh pumper obviously doesn't really work in a sense just because the product itself is so thick that I just end up taking the top off and then squeeze it out the bottle directly but really really like it the smell is nice and it detangles my hair super super fast when it comes to detangling and cleansing I do have tools that I use so these are both by my girl Joy Wade if you don't already know she has her hair care kit joyful bee so in that kit you get a scalp massager i use this every single time during a wash day if you don't already know scalp massages help increase the blood flow to your scalp and it also just helps remove the buildup and loosen the buildup a lot faster so typically the way my routine goes is i will cleanse twice with my fingers and on the third time that i'm ready to cleanse i will go in with my scalp massager all throughout my scalp and i absolutely love this stuff especially on those wash days where my hair is really dirty i'll go in with this because i know that it's going to get a ton of the debris out and then for detangling we have her detangling uh comb this stuff right here this is my baby first and foremost because i've never had a comb that glides so easily through my hair especially while it's wet so this definitely makes detangling a breeze it's also really flexible and then the teeth are not harsh but they're just what's the word that i'm looking for they're rough enough that they can get to your scalp and just remove majority of that dandruff so usually what i like to do is i'll detangle and then i'll fizz i'll make sure that this the brushes are or the teeth of the comb rather are literally going on my scalp so that i can make sure that i'm just like scratching my scalp and getting any remaining uh dandruff off and it's also really soothing especially if your scalp is really really itchy but now i have a solution in order to see all of that i'm going to show you guys in the end but these two right here definitely help a lot and once i am pretty much done with all of my cleansing it's now time for deep conditioning and i have two choice deep conditioners that are also by mish so we have the indulge uh moisturizing deep conditioner so if you want a ton of moisture and your hair is really really dry and you suffer with uh just super sh dry strands i would highly recommend this one and then they also have the strengthen protein moisture balance deep conditioner this is actually my favorite um i tend to gravitate towards this one a lot more than the indulge i'll use the indulge when i know that i've been neglecting my hair um whether that be not refreshing it as often, not doing like my midweek refresh, etc., etc., I'll grab the indulge. But when I just want to give my hair some jam packed TLC, I'll go for the strengthen uh, protein deep conditioner just because I feel like it leaves my strands a lot more protected, a lot more juiced up, and just pumped up and ready for the next style. Um, and I particularly like using this one whenever I'm going to do like my flat twist as you guys saw in my most recent video. Love, 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 love this stuff because it really helps. And just to show you guys, like I'm literally almost out. So I'm going to have to order another bottle soon because it's almost, I have like a quarter left. So I'll probably use this carefully until my next bottle arrives but the indulge is just as good so i highly recommend both of them i'm not gonna lie they're not on the pricey side but they are just they're not expensive you know but they are 
ten dollars more than like your typical like if you're paying eleven to nine dollars then you're gonna be paying twenty to twenty two dollars just to keep it real with y'all so, that is it for deep conditioning then it's time to get into styling so you guys know that during the winter months i always go in with my jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner by shea moisture that has not changed this is my go-to leave-in conditioner during the winter months just because i feel like it really helps my strands to keep them protected to keep them hydrated a lot longer especially during the harsh winter cold especially this winter was really it was really different like there was just a lot of rain there was a lot of snow out here in new york uh mostly rain and that can be really annoying it actually rained yesterday as a matter of fact that's why my hair is um a lot bigger just because i had taken my hair down yesterday and so i have my umbrella and all but obviously humidity waits for no one and it still gets to your strands so my hair is much bigger but my twists are still very much intact or my twist out i should say um but i absolutely love this stuff i use it all the time when it comes to just a leave-in conditioner that I know is going to hold me down and that also mixes well with my products. So this one has never given me an issue when it comes to cocktailing with other products which is another reason why I like it but this is my go-to jam. I've been using it for a very very long time. It will forever be my go-to and they better not ever change the formula. What I go in with right on top of that when it's time to style my hair is the Niche Bounce Curl Defining Cream. This right here this right here bomb.com every time i use it i have an amazing twist out all those twist out reels that you guys have seen over on my instagram and if you're not following me then please go ahead and check those out because i always share how i get my twist outs and what products i'm using this is it i use this every single time i didn't use it for this twist out because i'm trying out some new products and i can't share them with you just yet but as soon as they give me the green light i will definitely be doing a full video on that but this right here is my baby absolutely love this stuff it smells really really good and a little goes a long way i literally use a dime size to a nickel size amount every time that i'm doing my twist whether i do my two chunky twist or my four chunky twist this never fails me i let my hair air dry for about two days but if i sit under the dryer i get even more definition which i think i'm gonna do more often let me know in the comments down below if i should invest in a hooded dryer because i have my bonnet dryer that i use from time to time but i think i'm gonna shift my apartment around and make space for a hooded dryer because sometimes i really can't wait the next day and sometimes i just want to have my hair ready for the week so yeah that's my styler of choice is the Miche bounce curling cream and then lastly the one that i talk about the most and that i absolutely love is my nature's blessings hair pomade you guys have seen me like rant and rave about this even when i took my braids down and now i just use it religiously i'm almost done as you can see i have another bottle in my linen closet so as soon as i'm done with this one i will go ahead and pop that bad boy open but it has a ton of amazing ingredients you've got nettle rosemary sage peppermint thyme alfalfa olive oil pure coconut oil sage oil rosemary bergamot chlorophyll uh pure mineral jelly natural fragrance and good intention so the way that i like using this one is obviously on my scalp when i'm taking my twist down i will take a bit of this rub it in the palms of my hands take my twist down and every time i slap this on i get a ton of compliments about how good my hair smells love 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 this i'll use it on my ends my ends definitely look a thousand times healthier since using this stuff so once again shout out to my girly aja for putting me on love love the smell of this stuff it's so good and it's also really cheap this is only five bucks for a 3.7 ounce and i've been using this since november and i'm still not done with it so just to give you guys an idea but yes that is everything that i'm currently using on my hair and as i mentioned before for this particular twist out i did not use these products but as soon as i get the green light i will definitely let you guys know what products are used but my hair looks stunning 
anything I'm really happy with how this twist out turned out um, and I did sit under the dryer for these results but yeah hope this answered a bunch of your questions I will leave everything linked down below so that you guys can get your hands on them if you are interested in trying these out and if you guys want to find out more about what else I'm using what new products I've got coming in then I will make sure to do so and for that last thing that I was going to show you guys Come with me to my bathroom. Hold on. Okay, so when I mentioned that I now had something that would help me to see what it is that I'm exactly doing on my scalp on wash days, this is what I meant. So I went ahead and I picked up the extra large melanin shower mirror by Natural 85. And I love it. I got it yesterday in the mail. And I went ahead and I popped it right up. So I will finally be able to see how this pretty much works on my first wash day, which will be next week. Because I just washed my hair about three days ago. So this is an investment. I highly encourage anyone to check it out and pick it up for themselves. If, you're, if you've been looking for a really good shower mirror, highly, highly recommend game changer and it also is a plus whenever you do your skincare in the shower i'm one of those people i wash my face i uh exfoliate in the shower so this definitely helps but yeah that is pretty much everything that i use in my hair all the tools all the products will be listed down below in the description box and as always i will catch you guys in my next video on sunday see you guys then bye